Hello, today my eight-year-old son and I are reviewing the National Geographic Meteorite Dig Kit. Uh, he's really excited about all things space exploration and science and learning, and we visited the um, uh, the national, um, we did space camp with the Cub Scouts and they have like the, the national, um, you know, space museum in Huntsville, Alabama. So, uh, this has sparked a lot of interest in all things space related. So, um, he's going to take over and, um, open the box and, and take out the stuff and give you a little bit of introduction. Okay. There you go. Here, so I'll help you open the box and you can talk about it. Why are you excited about this toy? Um, because there's a real meteor in it. Okay, oh, what's this? Okay, so there's a learning guide about meteorites. Uh, let's see, science facts. Uh, difference between a meteor and a meteorite. Actually, it's a meteoroid, a small rock or particle of space debris in our solar system that has entered the Earth's atmosphere. Um, lots of good facts here. If a meteoroid is bigger than 10 meters, astronomers classify it as an asteroid. Interesting. Okay. Um, stony meteorite, iron meteorite, and stony iron meteorite. There's so different um, things here that you can learn about. The tools are a magnifying glass, and this is a, um... That looks like a chisel or scraping tool. And this is a brush. Okay, just like a real, um, uh, archaeologist does? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. And what's this? This is the, that's the thing where the meter is inside of it. The meteor? Meteorite? Meteorite. Okay, cool. Let me help you open the plastic. I think I'm going to check it. Okay. Comes like in a little box and all the little tools are inside and then you take it apart. So this is what it looks like when it's outside of the package. And somewhere inside here there's a meteorite. Do you just dig it open? Yeah, you just dig it open. Do you want to, um, here, put it in a little tray, that way it catches the debris? It's kind of hard to dig it open. Oh, it kind of scrapes it? Yeah. But it still kind of digs. It can still dig, but it kind of scrapes off some. It looks like it's, um, kind of like a plaster of Paris coating. As you can tell, we're sitting on the outside. This is a good outside project. Because there will be little flecks of, um, looks like plaster, kind of swinging around. But we're outside, so it's okay. Plaster's like, um, it's kind of like a little bit of clay or whatever, and oh, okay. it kind of covers stuff up. Um, artists can use it to make sculptures. Did you know that? No. Because that looks like, a, actually it looked like a little tiny sculpture and it's painted really nice. Mm -hmm. It looks like a fancy meteor with flames entering the Earth's orbit. I think I found a little piece of sign, but it's kind of hard to dig up. That's part of the challenge. It gives you something to do. Which side shall I use? This oh, one? Try them both. And I think see this. Which best. I'll try this side. I think this side just kind of like rough, or kind of like digging like sideways, and this side is probably like. This side should probably be the digging part. Well, this is a good exercise in um, patience and learning. It's not instant gratification, which is good uh, because. So much of what our kids use is all about instant gratification and 
video game, so it gives them a little something to do that takes requires a tiny bit of patience. And whenever you brush it off, there's a lot of like those, um, what, like the stuff that comes into the air, like little dust particles. Yeah, that go into the air. It's a little bit hard to dig up. Okay, I'm going to report back in later since, um, you know, this could take a little bit of time. This is kind of hot. And then I will take pictures of our um, progress and our final project. Thank you for watching the video. Bye. Okay, so we've pulverized all of the um, little, um, you know, plaster thing here and looked all throughout. And um, we found one of the... Uh, it's called a tectite. You could find one of these, in it, or you could also find an iron meteor. But we found one of the we found a tectite. Okay, so this tectite, um, we wash it off and brushed all the um, plaster off of it, and we learned something new. Do you remember what we learned about a tectite? Um, that they could be like very very old when they come down and it can make a very big crater. Right, so scientists have dated most tectites between 14 million and 750,000 years old. This is a learning um, guide provided by National Geographic and uh, we learned that tectites aren't found everywhere on the earth. They're only found in craters like this pictured here from a debris field. And um, the debris fields have a defined area inside of which the tectites have all been found that have the same general chemical composition. And they've been able to match the chemical composition of the tectites. Excuse me, we're sitting outside so we have like a little bit of road noise going on. But um, the largest um, strewn field in which tectites are found is in Australia is, is Australia is in Australia and it's thousands of miles wide and makes up 10% of the earth's land area interesting all right so there's a lot to learn if you read through the guide what do you think Kaya um, I think it's really cool let me see so if you want your um, child to have a little afternoon project where they dig up um, and dig through this little uh, plaster thing. We also found you can break it in half pretty easily. We broke it up into bits just and, to see. Um, we thought there might be two in there. We cracked open all of the bits. There was, no, there was not two, but at least there is um, just one. And you can see like little tiny bits in there. There's a couple different colors in there. There's a little um, piece of rock or something stuck in there. Very cool. Well, thank you very much for watching the video. Thumbs up. Bye. Bye.